Hi there! My name is Rain Baljack, and a lot of people in the island of Cebu in the Philippines know me as Miss Cebu 2016. But I'm recording this video because as you can see here, I'm currently bandaged up. And the reason for that is because I have an autoimmune condition known as eczema. And a lot of the problems are linked to like redness on the skin, but also it is a result of the interleukin number 4, 13, and 31. In another video, I can discuss all of that in detail if you'd like. Let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm doing this video because in October, the National Eczema Association did a program known as hashtag focus on eczema to help raise an awareness and although i really wanted to do this video in october unfortunately i was traveling and my skin uh, had a lot of flares which turned into an infection and when i came back um i was prescribed antibiotics and i had an allergic reaction to it which caused edema in my lower extremities so that's all been a crazy mess and that's kind of why I've been off social media. I was on oral and topical steroids from March to September of this year and then in September I decided to go through topical steroid withdrawal which was a complete mess. It was so debilitating. I really think eczema should be classified as a disability because it literally disabled me from being able to do my studies do my job and function in my daily life. I was literally going to the bathroom every one to two hours just to reapply Vaseline. Like it's nuts how much of the Vaseline that I go through. And also the Serav itch relief creams just to like find some resolution for all of the itchiness that I feel across my skin. It's unbelievable how much fiery, tingly, itchy sensations you get and if you're undergoing topical steroid withdrawal, unfortunately, you get hair loss, not just in your head, but also on your eyebrows. And ladies, it's not that fun. But aside from that, you also get like flaking across your skin. You're just constantly scratching. I had fevers, chills, shivering, and it's been a crazy few months. But that's why I'm making this video because I want to raise an awareness of the condition that I have because it's something that exists and currently there is no cure for eczema. There is a treatment that was released in 2017 as the latest treatment for eczema known as Depixent, but I haven't tried it myself and I really want to, so I'm gonna look into that. But common therapies for eczema um, use steroids or immunosuppressants and the kind that puts stress on the liver and kidney but Dupixent doesn't because it's a specific target to those interleukin cells in the body. I'll talk about that in another video. I'll link information in the um, description to this video below so that you can look into it if you want to. Um, and what's coming up, the reason why I'm making this, is because on my website and on my YouTube channel or social media platforms I am very motivated towards sharing some of the things that I do in my life to help me survive. Now, I am currently a student studying health sciences with a focus on nutrition and exercise because from my life, I have learned that these lifestyle modifications help me to survive. So I'm also a certified yoga teacher, a certified strength coach, a certified free diver, a certified Reiki healer, and a certified natural farmer. And I did all of these things while I was running my own business, a beauty and fitness consultancy where I coach people one-on-one -on -one to help them. And eventually I earned um, an opportunity to pursue my university education, which I'm currently doing. And everything's now just tying together. And I'm so motivated with all these things I do because Lifestyle modifications have really helped me. Diet, fitness, mindset, the things that I do, the things that I eat, sometimes the things that I wear. I have to wear 100% cotton or my skin itches if it's polyester or wool. There's even scents I'm allergic to. So perfumes, colognes, big no-no. There's a lot of different things and all of these tips and tricks that I've learned along the way from what products to use, what ingredients to avoid, what um, in biochemistry, there's like different things in foods like salicylates, like those are things to avoid. Anyway, I could literally go on and be very nerdy because I just love learning and 
this has been a huge part of my life. So I really look forward to sharing it with all of you because I think it's necessary. This matters to me and I think it matters to a lot of people too who feel hopeless, who are struggling and I can relate so much to everyone. So I want to help people um, with everything that I know and together, hopefully, like eczema will have a cure one day. So thanks for listening to this video. My name is Rain. Hit subscribe and tune in.